welcome to Teach From Home. I'm Beth and in this video I'm going to be unboxing my math curriculum for the 2020-2021 school year. So the curriculum is called Matthew C and I've been using it ever since my oldest was in kindergarten. Someone had recommended it to me and so I researched the company and what really made it appealing to me was that it was a hands-on math approach. They use manipulatives and I can show you what they look like. They have these blocks that help with addition or subtraction or multiplication, regrouping, all of that. I really liked the hands-on manipulatives that it comes with. So we're gonna cut the box open. And I ordered math for just my third grader and my fifth grader. I have a new kindergartner next year, but I'm just buying the new stuff for my boys. So, Here is their 2020 Magalog. So this is something different that they've put out this year. I think they've been revamping some things. Um, so here is my fifth grader's math. He's using Delta. And something that you need to know about Matthew C is that they don't have grade levels for their math. They use Greek letters um, for each level because it is not sorted by grade level. You're not just gonna go and say, I need math for my second grader and choose their second grade workbook. They really wanna make sure that your student is on the right level with math. And every second grader is not going to need the same math. They're not going to have the same um, math skills yet. And so, so they don't have them marked as grade levels. It's, this is Delta. So this is what my fifth grader is going to use this year. So you can see it is single and multi-digit division. That's what he's going to be working on. Let's see. And this is what my third grader will be using. So he is in gamma. This is single and multi-digit multiplication. So I really love the way that these workbooks are set up. And this is all that I am buying for them this year because, oh, if you'll see on the back, they do have the test booklet that comes with it. So I was wondering about that. So this is the test booklet for that. And for Delta, they have the same thing. It's just shrink wrapped together. So the really cool thing is, um, you'll see this on their website too, but this is just a little flyer that came in my box. And so it shows you exactly how to use Matthew C. So you're gonna learn the new concept, they have a video lesson, and then you can read the written explanation in the instruction manual. Um, you can present and explore the new concept with your student, you can watch the video together if you think it's helpful, and then you can use the blocks to do the problem yourself so that the student can actually see it. And then they will practice using the student workbook, and you can move on when your student shows that they understand the new concept. You don't have to keep going until all the workbook sheets are done. You can just move on once they have mastered it and are able to show you that they have mastered it. So that's the great thing about this math curriculum is that you don't have to do a certain number of worksheets. So like I said, this curriculum is mastery based, which means they're going to learn one concept at a time and make sure that they master it before moving on. This makes so much sense to me because if a student has not mastered the addition facts, how are they gonna move on to build on that concept using additional facts if they're struggling? He's just gonna fall further and further behind and get frustrated. So it is essential that you master the foundations, the fundamental math skills before you progress. Another thing that I really like about this curriculum is that it is uncluttered and the directions are very clear and simple. So a lot of other math curriculums might possibly, I don't know because I've never bought any other ones, they might have little graphics or pictures or stories or something that are on their workbook pages and I find that that would really distract my visual learners and so I like that on a math page they simply have maybe one or two sentences for instructions and then the problems. And that's it. It's just black and white, simple, and I really like it. It just helps my students to focus the best. One thing that is different this year, um, I've ordered this math every year for about six years, I guess, and every year it comes with a student workbook and the test booklet um, and an instruction manual that is hardcover 
And then it also comes with a DVD that has all the instructional videos for each lesson. It is Mr. Demi who created this program. He is in a classroom with students. You don't see the students, but you see him up at the whiteboard and he is demonstrating all of the different skills in each lesson. So that if you are reading your teacher manual and you don't quite understand it, you can always just watch the video for each lesson, which I have found very helpful. But this year, they don't have the physical DVDs. They're doing a digital download, which I think is so helpful because if people are just moving away from using DVDs or CDs altogether, it just makes sense to have a digital download where I'm gonna watch it on my laptop anyway. I'd love to be able to just pop it up on there and watch it without being like, I've lost my CD. I, I don't know where the DVD is. And this one's broken anyway. It's been loved on. So I'm really excited about that. The same thing with the teacher manual. I didn't get a teacher manual, um, a physical teacher manual this year. It's going to be digital as well. And I'll be honest, I am a visual learner myself. And so when I was reading about a certain way of doing a multiplication problem a little bit differently, I was having a hard time kind of understanding what they were trying to convey in this multiplication problem. And I watched the video on it and I saw Mr. Demi demonstrate it with the blocks on the board. He did a few problems and I totally got it. So I was able to say, oh, that makes total sense. I love this new way of just changing the multiplication process just slightly enough that it makes sense and it seems like a better way to do it. So I love that they have the teacher manual if you want to be able to read things, but they also have the DVDs where you can actually see them do it for you if you're having trouble understanding it. And I feel like this is really going to help me as we get up to the higher levels and I have forgotten algebra and geometry and calculus. Oh, I don't have to figure it out on my own. They're going to have someone show me those lessons so that I can watch it, my son can watch it, and it will help us to understand it better. So like I said, um, each book is not based on a grade level. It doesn't match up with a grade level. And so what you would need to do is have your students take the placement test that is on the website for Matthew C. And that's really gonna help them to know what concepts they've already mastered and what level they're going to be at. So like I said, I've had every single level um, from the very beginning. Primer is the first one. And then we have Alpha, which I don't have in front of me, and then Beta, which is this one. And then we have Gamma, and then we have Delta, which is the, this is my first experience using Delta this year. I am so excited. And my sons who are um, hands-on visual learners have really thrived with this curriculum. They have loved being able to use our um, math manipulatives that I bought for them. Um, I bought this the first year that we started and I have not had to have a replacement set. Both of my sons have used these the entire time that they use, have used this curriculum and I love them. They are nice and colorful and they just really help solidify the concepts for them. So if you have your student take the placement test, you'll know exactly what level of this math curriculum your student will need. So what does a typical week look like with this curriculum? Well, what they have is six worksheets for each lesson. So three of them are the practice worksheets, which are introducing a new concept. And then the last three worksheets will be a systemic review. So it will build a little bit upon what they have already learned in past lessons. And so the cool thing about this curriculum is that how they've set it up is you work for three days if you want to on this new concept doing a page each day and there's not that many problems. I really like that too. There aren't like 30 or 40 math problems for them to do. If you'll look at, um, for instance, lesson 11 on the first page. It has one, two, three, four problems on the first page. And then, so eight problems total. And I truly believe that in order for them to understand a math problem, a math concept, they don't have to do 30 problems over and over and over again. Once they get it, they get it. Now, if you find that your student is struggling with a concept, then you are able to do the extra practice worksheets that they have in here, and you can take a little bit longer with it. 
But if your student has gotten it, they've done three days of these practice sheets and they're like, I've got this, I'm bored. You can totally move on to the next lesson. So that is what I really like about it. Do a couple of days of these practice sheets. So like maybe m Monday through Wednesday, um, do the practice sheets. If they're struggling, keep going with the worksheets that they have, they have extras. If not, move on to the next thing. They're done, they're good. You don't have to keep them in that spot when they've already mastered it. And then you can use the test booklet. There is one test after each lesson. So it's really just another work page. It's not really any different, but they're just gonna have them go through and do a couple of more problems. So like this has like 20 problems for this test, but it's gonna have them do a couple problems for each concept, just to make sure that they have completely understood all of these so that they can move on. Because remember, it's a mastery program. I really like that on their website, they share how this curriculum is really good for all learning styles and teaching methods. So for the Charlotte Mason teaching method, which is what I really lean towards, it says on their website, um, the lessons are short and free of twaddle, which means just unnecessary kind of junk. There are lots of opportunities for hands-on experience, which is the Charlotte Mason method, and students are encouraged to teach back the concepts to the parent, which is narration, which is another component of the Charlotte Mason method. For traditional teaching methods, so there are some homeschool parents that really do the traditional method, which is really trying to replicate traditional school at home. What they say about that is that concepts are taught on DVD and workbooks are used for practice and review. So it's kind of like traditional school where they're watching an instructional video, watching a teacher teach the concept, and then there's a workbook that they fill out. And so that's how they kind of cater towards the traditional approach. For the classical style, if you are a classical style teacher, it says memorization of facts is encouraged in the early grades and mastery of concepts required at every level. So the classical is very much repetition and memorization of facts. And so that's how they cater towards the classical style. For the unschoolers, if you don't know what unschoolers are, they are people that do not want to necessarily use workbooks. They really want to have it be a child-led education. They want the students to learn through life and not really have them have too much instruction. That's kind of in a nutshell what unschoolers are. But what they say about that is that the books are not assigned grade levels but are organized by topic. So it's easy for students to work at their own pace and explore their own interests. I love students working at their own pace. That is how it should be. For the unit study style. So these are people that just focus on different topics and use all the subjects combined to study that one topic. What they say about that is many unit study curricula do not include math because of its sequential nature. However, many unit study curricula have recommended use of Matthew C as the supplemental math curriculum. Topics are grouped together by concept, helping students to see how math ideas are related to each other and the whole structure of mathematics. So I think that this curriculum is very reasonably priced. The other thing that I love about Matthew C, and maybe this is true for other math curriculums as well, but you don't have to buy all of the um, grade level math all together in a bundle. You can, so that would come with the student workbook, the test booklet, the DVD, or the digital download, the manipulatives, all of it, you can buy that in a bundle. And that's what I did my first year. But you can also just buy each piece if you want to. So what I did was I bought my math manipulatives, their set of math manipulatives the first year, and I haven't bought a new set since. They have held up through two boys using them. <laughs> and they're, they're great. So I have not had to buy that again. And then every year I keep the teacher manual and I keep the DVD. So I only have to buy the student workbook every year and the test booklet that comes with it. So that saves you money. I really appreciate that they let you buy things individually. So to sum up, Matthew C teaches by concept, not by rote memory. They are mastery based, so they don't use the spiral approach and they are multi-sensory. So they have the blocks, they have the DVDs, and they have the workbooks. So this curriculum goes from kindergarten all the way up to high school, ending with calculus. And if you're wondering how much parent involvement is required for this curriculum, the, the company does encourage teacher-student participation, but 
you don't have to. If you want to have your student just watch the DVD on their, on their own and then do the workbook on their own and you check it later, you totally can do that. Now, if you are a parent who is taking your kids out of traditional school and maybe that school uses the Common Core standards and you're wondering if this math curriculum aligns with the Common Core standards, I will let you know that actually they do use this math curriculum. They do have it in schools and they do make sure that they meet the Common Core standards in that set of the curriculum. And some of their enrichment and systemic review pages in these books do align with the Common Core standards. So if that's something that you're interested in, they do make sure that they keep up with that. But that's not their main goal. I'll read a quote on the website. It's uh, Kathy Duffy. She is a respected author of the 101 Top Picks for Homeschool Curriculum. And it says in her review that, she, that was published in 2012, this program covers all basic math concepts and all of those in the elementary level common core standards, but it does not try to correlate the teaching of concepts at the same grade level or in the same order as the core standards. Everything gets covered eventually, but in a more sensible order than the standards, in my opinion. So that's her quote about it. Yes, it does make sure that it kind of aligns with the Common Core standards, but it still does it in a way that is a, a sensible order and doesn't go by grade level. So I really hope that this gives you a good overview of the Matthew C curriculum. Like I said, I've used it from the very beginning. I love that it is a simple approach. It makes sense. It is hands-on and my boys have loved it. They've thrived learning math with this curriculum. So if you have any questions about this for me personally, then you can email me at teachfromhomebeth at gmail.com. You can also visit the website to view this curriculum and have your students take the placement test if you're interested in getting this curriculum that works for all teaching methods and all learning styles. I'll put the website in the description box. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If you liked this video and learned something valuable, I would love it if you would like the video. And also, if you want to see more of my reviews on different curriculums for math, reading, history, and grammar, I will be making more of those videos in the future. So make sure that you subscribe so that you don't miss those videos. Until next time, guys, have fun and enjoy the ride. Bye.